Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for June 21st, 2013. It's currently 8.40 a.m. And of course, today is the first day of summer with the uh, longest period of sunshine available for uh, today. We have uh, temperatures throughout the region basically ranging in the mid to upper 60s, uh, even in the interior, along the coast, in the New York City and Philadelphia metropolitan areas. Temperatures today are going to rebound nicely into the upper 70s to lower 80s along the immediate coast, lower to mid 80s in the New York City metropolitan area, and mid 80s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. And notice also the dew points are still rather low, which means we still have another day of low humidity. Don't get too used to it though, because hazy, hot, and humid weather conditions are on the way for this weekend. Notice that for the most part, the winds are light and variable. Uh, some locations have winds from the northwest at 5 miles per hour, others from the south and the southeast. We still have high pressure basically sitting right over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. However, that high pressure system is about to shift to the east, and when it does, winds are going to come from the southwest at all levels of the atmosphere. Now you can see on the infrared satellite picture, let's slide out right here, Here's our developing high pressure system. Here's the center of it, so to speak. And as that high pressure system establishes itself at the surface, we'll see wind shift to the southwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour by this afternoon and evening, starting to transport that more humid air mass from the Tennessee River Valley down to the Gulf Coast into the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Now when we take a look at the water vapor satellite picture, you can see our weather pattern starting to evolve here. There's our high pressure system. Now currently the 500 millibar pattern is still developing. So we don't have a sustained ridge yet over the southeast, but it's starting to develop. We're starting to see that sinking air start to form here. And the northern Atlantic is going to be in between this developing ridge with the surface high pressure system off the coast and this trough over eastern Canada. So, we're on the warm side of this whole setup, but we're close enough to be under the influence of these pesky disturbances. So every afternoon and evening, there will be a threat for an isolated to widely scattered shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, all the way on through Wednesday. So, while we'll be seeing temperatures or feeling temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s along the coast, lower to mid 90s in the Delaware River Valley, with the humidity supporting a heat index basically in the mid 90s to lower 100s will also be under the threat in the afternoon and evening for one of those thunderstorms that could reach severe levels primarily producing strong wind gusts and heavy downpours. So here is the latest model guidance from the Penn State UL website using the European model guidance. You can see our ridge starting to develop by this uh, evening over the eastern United States. It's pretty much covering all of the southeast. And you can see we're on the edge of that ridge with this pesky trough setting up over southeast Canada. And that's pretty much going to be in place for tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So throughout this entire period, temperatures are going to remain above normal. Again, mid-80s, possibly over portions of Long Island, generally upper 80s to lower 90s along the coast in the New York City metropolitan area, lower to mid 90s in the Delaware River Valley, and the Philadelphia metropolitan area. There's a potential for fog in the morning hours, uh, scattered uh, isolated shower, showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening, every one of these afternoons. And of course the main story will be the heat and humidity with the heat index pushing near 100 degrees. By Thursday, we finally get a strong enough cold front to move through Ahead of this cold front, temperatures will be in the mid 80s to lower 90s throughout the region, depending on when these showers and thunderstorms move through. There will be a potential for strong to severe thunderstorms, and these thunderstorms will feature very strong wind gusts, heavy downpours, small hail, frequent lightning. So Thursday afternoon and evening could be rather uh, active throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. And you can see, Beyond this point, we start to shift a little bit more towards temperatures, more towards near normal. I think the European model guidance is a little bit too aggressive here with this trough and this upper level low, but I still think that we'll be pretty much on a track where we'll have temperatures near normal for the start of July, but also that heat 
is not far away, setting up in the Plains, Mississippi River Valley, and Tennessee River Valley. And all it needs is for this ridge to shift a little bit further east and this trough to lift a little bit further north. And the 4th of July weekend could be rather toasty. So it's something we're going to keep an eye on. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. You can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.